The Marsh Pride of Lions are still having a hard time finding enough food, but the weather has changed for the better, and so more and more animals should be moving into this area over the next couple of weeks. In the meantime, the lions just have to make do with whatever they can find. And that's not a lot. Pickings are extremely lean at the moment, but of the animals which remain all year round in the Mara, it is the warthogs which are targeted most often by the lions. Though they may be short in the leg, with a limited view of their surroundings, they are anything but easy to catch. Warthogs have a superb sense of smell, and lions, for some reason, take little notice of wind direction. In this hunt, more by luck than judgment, the wind was in the lion's favour. With two lionesses working together, an ambush is set. But despite brushing to within a metre or so of the waiting cat, the warthog's remarkable turn of speed is enough to ensure its escape. Indeed, of all the hunts we've watched over the past week, the outcome has become worryingly predictable. Another of the animals which maintains a presence here throughout the year is the giraffe. As the tallest and one of the heaviest animals on the plains, trying to catch one is, to say the very least, ambitious. But when there's a newborn youngster in the herd, the lion's interest is given an extra boost. once again in failure. With such difficulties, the normally large pride has started to break up into splinter groups of twos and threes, and hunting strategies have changed accordingly. Lion prides often begin to split up when times are hard. Despite the theory that lions are a social cat because it makes hunting easier, in fact, two lionesses, like these two sisters from the marsh, are probably the most efficient hunting unit. They can still ambush their prey, but if they catch something, they don't have to spread it too thin. However, there are occasions when two is just not enough, as occurred when the marsh sisters attempted to bite off a great deal more than they could chew. A bull eland can weigh close to a ton and proves to be too much for the lions, despite a gallant attempt. In the end, they're forced to turn their attention once again to the warthogs. This time, though, they set their sights a little lower. 